All right, we're at Castle Coomlock. She made it. So you'll have seen my track day video, that went pretty well. Other than not being able to test if my wheels were any good, so I went to run with the, the brand new tyres. This little GR across the road. But we're just going to get set up and then I'll do some talking. There's loads of stuff here today, like loads of stuff, loads of classics. So we've got loads of stuff to look at later. Mr. Car Giveaway Dream. Yeah. Oh, look at this mechanic. <laughs> oh, yeah, we properly spawned off the uh, Rogue Motorsport guys that were just on the end. <laughs> Oh uh, well, good shit. So forewarning, this is probably going to be quite a long video because we've got quite a long day. We're qualifying in about an hour and then the first race is about four hours after that and then the second race is about another four hours after that. So quite a long one. But we're going to have a quick snoop at some of the cars. There's some cars out on track now qualifying already. They're the first session, we're the fourth session, so we've got a little bit of time. Let's have a look at some of the cars. That Alpha's very nice. Oh! Yeah, a lot of old stuff here today. Even Saxos. I don't think these ones are racing, Simon. I think they're just posing. Ooh, Alpine. Oh man, that Alpha's had a bad time, but they fixed it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, there's going to be some good racing here today. Oh, the Jaguar. Another Cortina. Oh, I'm glad there's some proper classics here. Hello. All right. This man said Danny DC2. Did you hear him? He went Danny DC2. I thought he said I need a poo. Uh, maybe, I don't know. It's a bit weird to pull over. I guess, well, a lot of people do pull over and tell me that. Not quite a soft spot for a bull thing. For Corsa B? Yeah. Yeah, because you don't see him anymore. You don't. No, you don't. Yeah, man. Gnarly dudes. Well, CRF, well, bro. Well, Oh shit, Simon, there's a DC5! Oh mate, I look at the Astra then. That's cool. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. The racing Oop North. I'm sure there's championships out there that have Integras and uh, Astras racing against each other, but first time I've seen it. <laughs> there's our Lamborghini on track. There's some cool stuff racing here today. Lamborghini getting chased by an E46 M3 and a Caterham. Peterfield, Westerham. Fucking yum. And we found a Civic on Rain Sports. Having a quick selfie. Ooh, it's a K20 with throttle bodies. Found another EG with loads of first stickers on the back of it. I am the winner. Loads of posh cars here, Simon. Some cool little corner waiting going on in the corner of the Formula cars. And there's just an R8 here chilling. Hello R8. On slicks, no less. Looks like the second qualifying's done, which is these cars. Which means the third one's going out, which means I need to go and get ready. I need to go and get ready, Simon. Yeah, I need to go and get changed and that and get out. Oh, look at this nice little Ferrari and a Bentley. Yeah. Of course, of course. Anyway, but coming away, I'll have to practice and I'll let you know how I get on. Hopefully, in the top 10. Thank Marshall.
that was not the qualifying session I really wanted. There's a few times where I tried to create gaps myself and ended up um, just catching the car by the end of the lap and you know I even had to get a bit brave, get really brave at overtaking some people which weren't very nice but kind of had to be done. I went out behind one of the faster cars and um, should have really just clinged onto him all the way around but um, didn't. Um, thought it'd be better just to hang back and have some clear air myself. But, hey, no vlog shots. Oh God. Before I can even move away, he's got me. Photographer, man. So yeah, wasn't wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. I think I'm 16th, which is not top 10. And, you know, I'm a bit um, underwhelmed by it, but hopefully I can get a faster lap. I'm pretty sure I can get a faster lap in, in race one and then qualify a bit better for race two, which is later this evening. Car was really good though, apart from that. Had to obviously, like I say, had to get a bit brave on, on the qualifying and then it got red flagged. So yeah, not the best, not the worst, but we'll see what happens at race one. But we've got a couple of hours to kill before then, so let's go and find something to do. Haribo's on day <laughs> Calibo. <laughs> I've not seen, uh, never been anything like this out on the racing when we've been here before. Be cool, isn't it? Right. Oh, of course to see. Oh, I reckon he wants to come on this grass. Get off grass. I don't have an Astra, but it just looks Simon, good. there's another another Astra for you here, Pop. I'm not into Astras. Are you, are, you said earlier you liked Astras. Pretty cool. Yeah. These ones. What's with all the like, random Aston Martins just chilling in car park? It's my, my dad. All of them's your dad? All of them. All right. Is your dad called Volante? Tommy Max come to watch some racing, hasn't he? Eh? Tommy, no? Mate, it's a cab SRI up. Is it an SRI? It's got the wipers on the headlights though. So what is it? Is this what we're doing now? It's a GSI, bro. Even better. Shows what we know. Lots of alphas. This guy doing man. I think everyone knows. Everyone knows he's not an alpha. Come on, M R2. Yeah, I don't think it's just alphas actually, I was wrong there. There's quite a lot of things that aren't alphas. But it's definitely predominantly alphas. Alpha, alpha. That is definitely not an alpha. Two of them, two of them. I'm just finishing the paddock walk. This Ferrari's turned up. What the hell are you racing in? Must be the GT one with a Lamborghini that was. Hey, okay. Top night our kid. Are you doing that thing while you film me doing the film? Yeah, it's going, you, t <laughs> you can't see behind the camera, but it's like that to the camera. That's fine. All right, we're into the racing now. So we've got the E46s, we've got the Lambo, all the M3s, we've got the Ferrari, we've got the R8. Oh, there's two Ferraris. And then there's a Saxo. <laughs> like, what's he doing there? Legit, there's a Saxo going out with all these mad bastards. So we're going to go and have a bit of spectate, see how the Saxo gets on. Maybe he's lost, I don't know. It's like the MR2 that was with all the classics again. Maybe they're just... Uh, any ideas, Simon? No. No words. No words. <laughs> Where's the Saxo? Oh, oh man! This is uh, the end of the first lap. And here he comes. Oh, oh this doesn't sound good. Come on, the Saxo. Right, so this Lamborghini's winning, right? 
Then there's a Vauxhall Tigra kind of cup car thing. And then in third place is some catering thing. So quite quite a mixed bag. And then a Ferrari. And then another catering thing. M3, R8, M3. And then another M3. Followed by another Tigra, no, 207 thing. Caterham again, another M3. And then another Lamborghini. What a mixed bag. And then somewhere in a couple of minutes, we'll see a Saxo come. Oh, Saxo incoming. The photographer's got time to readjust before the Saxo arrives. <laughs> Saxo, oh, here he comes, here he comes. Okay, the leaders have caught him up within two laps. This is the third lap, right? Now we're just about to go into race one. Just doing some final prep. But I'll see you inside. <laughs> Forgot to mention, what are you daffing for, dickhead? See you inside. See you inside the car. Oh, inside the car. What do you think I meant? I forgot to mention, I had some problems with my GoPro memory card last time. And someone who watches the videos works for a company who do memory cards and he says, um, she found some memory cards. And it was Kingston of all people. That's nice, isn't it? So special thanks to Kingston. I've got all new fast memory cards in my cameras and we've got full batteries and everything, so. Should be all right, Simon. Kingston. Didn't he do that song? What? Sean Kingston. Yeah, that's the, that's the who does the memory cards as well.
ended up starting 11th, not 16th, as previously thought. That was a good race. Finished 5th in the end, couldn't quite keep up with the, the road stood in front, but gave it everything. I'm a little bit off on time, which means I'm going to start a bit further back in the second race, but I don't think I'll be as lucky as getting through the grid again, but we got from, from 11th till, we got up to 4th originally, but then obviously there was a bit of wigwam bam, thank you mum. And um, yeah, I'm more than happy with fifth. I want to finish in the top 10 here, so result. I want to finish in the top 10 of the championship, really. That's my end goal. There's about 60 entrants this year, so that's a nice goal to have. But a bit tired now, so I'm going to have five or some snacks. Simon just giving the car a once over. The only issue I had is that the rear started to become quite unpredictable, almost like it wasn't so connected. So I might just put the roll bar on a slightly stiffer setting, maybe double check things are tight. For quite a lot of the time I didn't really know where the rear was of the car, so that was a bit unsettling, disconcerting. So I'm going to have a quick look, hopefully nothing's really broken, but yeah, fifth, chuff with that. Well, ended up making some changes to the car, so I put the roll bar on the uh, second setting, it's four obviously, I'm normally a bit on the softest, which it turns out I might be the only one who actually does that, speaking to a few people, everyone seems to run it on full stiff, but I've always found the car to be a bit too oversteery, um, but that time the rear end felt a bit washy, it might just be a Castle Coombe thing maybe, but I didn't want to make too many changes too fast, advised by the, the race mechanic man over there, because um, I was tempted to put it on a bit higher, but um, we'll just make little changes, incremental changes, hey Simon? Dream car man give yeah incremental changes. But what we are doing is bleeding the, bleeding the brake. We've just finished the rear. The brakes felt a bit squishy and I've not bled them for a while, so while we've got a couple of hours between races, we're just giving them a, a quick bleeder. And uh, yeah, just on the rear, so I'm gonna move on to the fronts. That's the fluid so far. Not terrible, but definitely worth doing. Oh, that's nice. He's giving a little brush down. Yeah, nice little brush down. It's race car stuff, mate. Hmm. Anyway, onto the fronts. I've also got Ben Rushworth approved, supplied by Kevin Talbot, race engineering Kevin gloves. So, Kevin. I never normally wear gloves, but I'm, I'm trying to be more of a. What's the word? Dermatitis. Dermatitis? I don't even know what that is, but I don't want it. It's a skin condition that you warned about when you work on cars. Get oil under your skin and makes you really fall off. Okay, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to have that happen. So, thanks, Kevin. Show my Kevin what. Oh, speaking of Kevin, I left my car here at the track um, from Friday until today, two days. And as I was loading the car up, Kevin came down his DC5. He was on a track day, wasn't he? And did a, a stoppy outside like a little twelve-year-old. Locked his Michelin Pilot Four. Uh, sport things just locked them up. Look, you can tell that's a pilot sport for, can't you? That's that's Kevin, that. So, yeah, thanks, Kevin. All right, we've just uh, bled all, all of the brakes. All of the brakes have been bled. So, hopefully, she's got a bit of an ish pedal feel. Hey, a wee bit better pedal feel. I hope so. I hope so. Aye, I hope so. Where is he? Oh. <laughs> Are you that Phil from Driftworks? No. <laughs> Ten points for who can guess who kicked over the socket box. <laughs> Where's passenger seat gone? He's waiting for his second race. It's taking a while. About an hour or so to wait. Yeah. Well, why don't you go and watch some racing, then, if you're bored and that in your car, listening to music? Oh, the hot touch is on now. All oh, the cars that you like. Look, the Civics, Integras, Astras, Clios. Simon had a race with one of these. You're not allowed to race on track days. But and then he, he 360 no scoped, but there was no video evidence, so did it really happen? I have video evidence, but it's very grainy. Ah, oh, one of them. Hey, right, what have we got here then? We've got two EGs, 106, an Astra Mini, Clio, Mini, Integra, Fiesta, Civic, Clio, 
106. Ford KA or CA. Up to you. Clio, 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 Clio. MG ZR. Citroen Saxo. Mini Fiesta. Mini Clio. 106. CRX is it? Or a EF? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're not in Wales. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Mini. Then we got a mini. The Saxo's found which race he's meant to be in. Look, got the right race this time. Then we've got EK Focus Saxo Phase One Saxo Phase Two S2. Let's say 106. 106 EP3. And, uh, huh? Phase one. one. Free face. Uh, got face lift rear lights though. No, it's facelift. Front three face. Oh, bloody hell, it's confusing. Oh, no, and then we've got, they've got an, a new Fiesta right at the back. So, let's have a look. Oh, Tig! Oh, Tig's on the grass! Look at the safety car just chilling, waiting to come out. Oh, they've called it, they've called it! Well, I called it first, but you know. Alright, these are about to start again after a bit of a hold up. Ah, bugger! Oh, he's done him! Whoa! Right there. He did 10th after one lap and already gave Where's you going? So he there you go, give me mine. Where are you going? You can't hide there. So that K20 Civic we looked at earlier. I think it's the same one. He's flying. Look at the gap. Gapping out. A Ford KA and an EK9. Scrapping. Alright, it's time. Race 2 has finally come around. It's 10 to 6 local time. So, late start for sure, but I'm going to go out and we'll see if the uh, change we've made make any difference. Eh? So, I'm on. Do you want to take this with you? Final thoughts. I'm going to take the camera with you and do some do some videoings. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Good evening here from Castle Coombe. You join us for the uh, custodial MR2 Hard Park Championship. This is a ceremonial uh, obligation to the drivers where they park their cars. Everybody has a good look around to admire each other's machinery. Dan's done a nice little slot in there, primed and ready for the race ahead.
note you that, wasn't it? Hey, we've come down here near Bristol and that, and we're gonna go and go and race our MRTs, and we're gonna MRTs, and we're gonna go and have a little bit of a scrap on that. And I think I got second in class that time, so I'll, I'll be coming home with a trophy or something like that, I think. <laughs> So I've got a few more battle scars, some red paint now to match the pink paint, a few more tyre marks, but I do believe, unconfirmed until we get the silverware, but I do believe I got a second in class in that race. So that'll be fucking mint, won't it? Checking trophy home. Hey Simon, checking trophy home. It's all been worth it lad. Uh, I don't know if that's, if that's right or not, but I think so. So I'll let you know in a sec when I find out, but we're just packing up now. Been a good day, good racing, good action. Second in Class C, Dan Sylvester! <laughs> First in Class C, Sean Is it real, mate? Oh, Is it real? Well, that's it then. So we got a trophy in the end, a bit of silverware for the cabinet. Castle Coombe, 30th of August, 2021, second place, Class C. How do you think about that, Mr. President? Yeah, I feel pretty good. Yeah. So, good day all beers. round. Beers, celebratory beers. Celebratory beers. To the pub, sir. Yeah. Got trophies, pretty heavy that as well, you could cover someone with that couldn't you? So you had to really fight for that trophy, so I thought I was fighting for a third place but ended up with second place, so not bad, not bad. Car is loaded up and it's time to go home. So if you've enjoyed watching, been a bit of a long one. Both races were full of action so I just made sense to keep them in really, didn't it? Thanks to Simon for helping me all day. Click clank every trip. Yeah. Thanks to the Patreons for... I swear, for I swear it's Patrons. Patreons. Patrons. Patreons. <laughs> Thanks to the Patreons for uh, giving investing me some... Investing in Investing in, in my life. And buy, buy, some, uh, buy some merchandise. Like and subscribe. Peace. Doesn't Adam do that? Yeah. Now slap the lens. <laughs>